Today I'm going to show you guys, well more specifically, I'm going to show my man Alfred how to do a whole tail flip, right? We're going to take this particular property and I'm going to show you a strategy to get in, do a little something, something, and then get out making a quick $8,000, right? It's kind of in the middle between wholesaling and flips, wholetailing. Let's go, Alfred. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, y'all. I am James Wise and I am here for you guys. I am here to help you guys make money investing in real estate right and today i want to do a little wholesale deal on this right now you take this deal right here uh just a little house we only got two pictures okay and it's being poorly marketed uh to the two types of people that could buy it right which is great that's perfect for you that's perfect for me right we make our money in this business by sliding in there and removing problems right this property 1317 West 6, Lorraine, Ohio. Okay, it's priced at 59900 been on the market for 46 days. Okay, there's two kinds of people that could buy houses. People that want to live in them. People that want to rent them out or make money on them. Investors, us, right? Well, this particular property has a tenant in there. And they're only paying five seventy. That is way below market. Market rent for this about 900 So... If you only got two kinds of people that could buy this property, only two kinds of people could pay $59.9 for this property, investors, owner-occupants. Well, the investors are no longer interested. Number one, because the tenant is paying an amount that is so low they would not cash flow. Number two, it's not being marketed very well. There's really no discussion on it, no pictures, you know, nothing, right? Uh, you got nothing to go off of other than some crummy pictures of the outside, right? Like this. It's not appealing to anybody. It doesn't look very nice, and it's not going to cash flow at that current uh, low amount of rent, right? So the investors, they're probably skipping over this. That's why it's been on the market 46 days. That leads us to the owner-occupants. Well, guess what? They don't want it. They can't see what it looks like. It's going to be hard to show it. And guess what? They can't move in because the tenant lives there, right? So nobody's going to be interested in buying it. And that, my friend, is why I think we could squeeze in there with a plan of attack and throw them a lowball offer and have a chance it gets accepted. I would like to try to pick this up for you at 45000 Then, of course, you're going to have your uh, closing costs, so you'll be all in at 46000 Then, before we go to resell it, okay, we got to do a little bit of work. We don't have to rehab it or anything like that. We're not trying to do a full flip here. We're trying to wholetail the sucker, right? All we have to do, because you're working with us, you're working with Holton Wise. So I understand you're out of state, Alfred. It don't matter that you're out of state, bro. Holton Wise will be your boots on the ground. So we want to try to come in there like, hey, Mr. Seller, ain't nobody interested in your house. We'll give you 45K, boom, 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 right? We take the property. Then we take over the management for you, right? Holton Wise, we take it over just as a regular rental property. We do all of that. So, Alfred, I know you're out of state. Don't worry. Your team at Holton Wise will handle it all. What we need to then do is let the tenant's lease expire. Uh, it's got like a couple months left to my knowledge, right? Then it'll go month to month. Then what we need to do is give them a rental increase notice. Like, hey, Mr. Tenant, your rent is 900 Now, if you guys pay attention to my show, oftentimes when I'm talking to you about long-term buy and hold, I tell you guys, I'm like, hey, you don't want to like go crazy on your, your rental increases or you're going to create an artificial turnover. And typically artificial turnovers are going to hurt your cash flow more than they're going to help your cash flow. But it's all about what your particular goals are in the scenario. Alfred, your goal is not to maintain this as a long-term rental. You want to quickly flip the money uh, to continue to build up your cash flow reserves so you could eventually buy bigger rental properties, right? So for you, it's a win-win. We go in, we take it over, right? Because right now, nobody's paying fair market value for it because owner-occupants, they can't buy it because there's someone living in it. Rental investors, they're passing it by uh, because it's not being marketed to them very well, number one. Number two, it, it, they don't know what the, the market rent is and the current rent's crummy, right? So we come in. Hey, Mr. Tenant, your rent's 570. Well, 
you know, you got to start paying 900 in the next 30 days or you got to move out. If the tenant's like, oh, okay, no problem. I'll pay 900. I don't want to move out. Great. No problem. I will turn it around and sell it to uh, a regular long-term buy and hold investor who wants to buy it with a long-term mortgage. I will easily sell it for $60,000, right? So if I did that, after you pay the closing costs, my commission for selling it on the Investment Properties for Sale show, you're going to walk away with a cool $8,000. Plan B, same scenario. Hey, tenant. Yeah, dog. Can't pay five seven anymore. Now you got to pay nine. Tenant's like, oh, dude, screw that. I'm going to move out. Okay, great. No problem. Tenant moves out. Boom. Maybe we spend like a grand or two just cleaning out any other stuff. Don't do any repairs. Owner occupants can now get in there tour the property. They will easily pay $60,000. You make the same amount of money, 8000 bucks. So in either scenario, Alfred, I see an $8,000 profit coming to you with my team doing all the dirty work. And as far as like holding costs, shouldn't really be much of any because don't forget you still got that rent coming in right it's not a good cash flow investment right like what is it again 570 in rent you ain't gonna be making no money but it's pretty much gonna be a wash right so you don't have to worry about that so you'll be collecting rent while we manage it till we get to the point where we could increase their rent if they stay great i resell it to investors on the investment properties for sale show if the tenant says nope i gotta move out i resell it to owner occupants right you got to figure out what your scenario is and appropriately market it to either of those two buyer bases. Current seller doing neither, which is why you can probably swoop in and make a cool eight grand with my team doing the dirty work. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.